guys. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, there was something I was thinking about last night and I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if any of you guys out there with anxiety has ever done this, but I went to the doctor with Vicki yesterday, to the heart doctor, and uh, the first nurse, she come in, and she is so sweet. She's, she's one of the sweetest persons I know, but uh, we sat there for a little bit. She went through his medicines. I just got a shower. And we went through, she went through all his medicines and put it in the computer. And I sat there and I was fine. And um, I was sat there until she done all that. She done his blood pressure. She did everything. And she went out and we sat there not long at all. And his heart doctor came in. And, um, everything was fine at first. We started talking about, you know, his medicine and everything and they, everything and everything was fine. And I was just sitting there and all of a sudden I was like, I felt that pass out feeling, you know, that pass out feeling that you feel when you get anxiety, you know, that you're going to, you're going to pass out. And I was like. In my head, I was like just sitting there. I would like nudge up on the chair and I would back up. And I was like, should I say something? Should I say, hey, I'm going to walk outside or I feel faint? But, you know, Ricky likes to talk and his doctor, too. She's extremely, extremely talkative and she's extremely nice. And and she was talking, he was talking and, not, and they was just talking. And I was sitting there on the other side of Ricky and I was like, should I tell them I feel like I'm going to pass out? I mean, I guess it was my anxiety where I'd been sitting in that room with the door closed. I don't know. I mean, it just hit me. And I was just so nervous and so everything. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, tell them, you, you know, that you need to walk outside for a minute. Or tell them this, tell them that. And it's like my mind knew it. And my mind was thinking it, I mean. And it's like, though it wouldn't come out. Like, and I was just sitting there like, I'm gonna faint, you know, I'm gonna faint. You know, please hurry up, you guys, and just please hurry up and quit talking because I feel like I'm gonna faint. And I knew it was my nerves and I knew it was just being in that little room, maybe. I don't I don't know, it just it just happened just just like that, you know, and I hadn't remembered if I took my nerve missing because, you know, I'd left so fast and but I just is anybody else up down that? I mean, it just comes, just like it just hits you. I mean, I, I was fine, and then I was like, I was like, just feeling like that, you know, well, if I don't get out of this situation soon, I'm gonna pass out. So we finally, finally, they quit talking. <sighs> finally, they quit talking, and um, we went out to the, the waiting area because they had explained to Ricky head head where heart monitor thing for, for I think 24 hours or something and uh, I told uh, that's what I told Ricky I said I feel like I'm going to faint and uh, finally the nurse uh, explained to him how to use the the monitor thing how to put it on everything because I was getting ready just like just to head out the, out the door you know I felt a little bit better after I got out of that room but I was just getting ready to head out the whole building because I felt like I was going to faint. I, I mean, I hate that feeling. It feels like you're going to faint from anxiety. And I don't know if it was just claustrophobia from being in that room for a little bit or what, but it felt like anxiety because once I got outside, it, you know, it kind of took, you know, it, 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 it kind of started feeling better. It, it started. <laughs> It started going away once I got outside. But I just, I hate that pass up feeling. I hate that feeling. I just wish, if I, if I never had go through anything again, that would be one of the things I wouldn't, I would wish that I never have to go through again is that feeling like you're going to pass out from, an, from your anxiety. And it's like, I couldn't tell them. I, I could say, hey, I feel like I'm going to pass out. It's just like, it, it, I was thinking it and it wouldn't, it wouldn't come out of my mouth. And then I was like, 
oh, thank goodness, when they quit talking, you know, Ricky likes to talk, and then his doctor, is, he, she, would, she was extremely nice, she's a heart doctor, I, I get to go up and see her too, well, I hope I, you know, I have to remember to, to I don't know, before I go to maybe have to tell her or something, because she's so, she's so nice, she likes to talk, and, but it just feels like it just knocked me down two steps from where I was going, and I just, I hate that, you know, you know, and it's like, nobody really understands, you know, I never, I never brought it back up to Ricky after, you know, we left, I told him in there, but I never brought it back up, and, but I was thinking about it last night, and kind of, it got me down, because I was like, I felt like I was kind of doing just a little good, so it, it just kind of brought me, it kind of brought me down, but it's all part of anxiety, guys, it's all part of, of what I've been going through with since I was like 16 years old, and Well, I'll try to come on later today and make a better video than this, but I love you guys times two.